Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Sunday, which means it's time for another Nazwatch is no game, no life. Oh boy, what even fucking happened in the last episode? Oh my god, I've been, I've been just ah, uh, so many things have happened in all the animes. I'm just like, oh jeez, what even fucking happened? Oh yeah, no, they okay, right? Shit, sorry, my B. So they were going to go to the skyscraper that the previous king sold to the fucking animal people. To try and challenge, the, uh, to fucking, like, to try and figure out how they're doing the brainwashing and figure out what their game is and... Oh, no, not figure out what the game, they already figured out what the game was because the king gave them a diary and just... Bing, bang, boom, they're gonna go get the land back and... Oh, fuck, oh boy, this, honestly... I, I, if you're wondering why I'm acting so fucking goofy right now, it's because this show is fucking goofy. And just... It's dumb, and the part of me that wants to like wants to analyze the story and all that is just going like, no, it all has meaning. No, no, you need to find the hidden meanings. You need to do. You need to find the themes and the characterization and the purpose behind the work. But then, like, yeah, but then it's just like, no, titties going to jail. Fuck me, but. And also the king being a big stupid idiot, but he's aware he's a big stupid idiot, so he fucking used him being a big stupid idiot to figure shit out, just... Oh boy! But let's see what is done with this information, shall we? In three, two, one, and go! Oh, fuck me. Alright. Off to the skyscraper! The beast people have tiny penises. Confirmed. You have to come with us, Steph, because you're the dog. It's fine. It's a declaration of war. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? But but why, though? Why and how the fuck, though? They're dogs. Dogs have bad eyesight. What the fuck? God, the fact that his fucking crown is an armband. The Japanese have a weird love of armbands. Obviously, Sora is a god being. Uh, the game began the second he woke up this morning. Oh, fuck me, dude. Uh. <laughs> See, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Just. This show is really dumb, but there, I feel like there, there has to be something down there. Nobody, nobody writes something for it to be dumb. No matter how dumb it appears to be, there is always something beneath it to fucking, like, that the author wants to say. Whether the author is saying it consciously or unconsciously. But the amount of, like, Dumb shit happening in this show is obfuscating it really well. And it's driving me crazy. Like, fucking... Like, like I said, like what Steph said. I understand how fucking the Dogman saw, even though it's really weird because dogs have really, really bad eyesight. Like, there's a reason why dogs have really good hearing and really good fucking sense of smell. It's because their eyesight is garbage. Like... Well, they've only got, like, what, like, four cones? Or something like that? Like, they've got less cones than humans do. So they can't make out as much detail and make out as much color. So how the fuck he saw him, I have no idea. Like, really, it should be scent and fucking hearing. But, alright, I'll roll with it. Like, there's just some stuff here that just makes no fucking sense, or it's just really dumb. Fake end? Oh, no! 
It's the end of the series, but for real though. Wait, do they have TVs? Okay, but what the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Why do they have technology? Why did you bring the racist gun? Well, yeah, because they've got L- what the- How the fuck? Why? Why is- why is the talking gun being so sassy? Why was she brought? Ooh. Oh, so it's like dwarves then, just grudges turn. Why do they have elevators and TVs and shit? Like, is someone here gonna whip out a fucking 9mm and just fucking go to town? Like, fuck me, dude. Like, seriously, do the fucking- do the fucking angels have laser guns? Oh, he zoomed in using his phone. He used the. Z That's a really good fucking zoom on that phone. Holy shit! I like her. I like her! Also, I love how they attempted to use King Crimson. They tried to delete- They tried to use the- use the Stan's ability to delete 10 seconds. To touch your face. Who did she learn it from? Fucking rap lyrics? Oh, I see how. I see where she- I, I see where she learned it from. Mm-hmm. She likes being head pat. Fucking all the casual races, I really do f yeah, no. They must have learned it from rap lyrics. All I'm waiting is for someone to drop a fucking- the fucking N-bomb, holy fuck. He's radiating murderous intent, he's gonna summon his stand. Go directly to jail!
Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect 2,000 yen. What the fuck? Oh my god. Wait, are you... Are you fucking kidding me? The mind reading this whole time... ...was cold reading. Something that while not everyone can do... ...everybody in this sort of situation should know about. How stupid are the people of this world? Cold reading is not some ancient Chinese secret. It is something that is well established. Anybody worth their salt at gambling, let alone in a gambling world, should know how cold reading works. It's the oldest fucking trick in the book. It is, it is how fortune tellers work. For fuck's sake! It's why fortune tellers only work on the stupid, man! Holy shit! So how did they do it? Cause this shit's all from. See where they where they fucking get all this shit from in the first place, for real. He may, he brings up a very very good point in there. They don't want people to find out that they're cheating like assholes. So, but the king did exactly the same thing, though. I mean, that makes sense. That's entirely logical. That... Because they didn't figure it out and they weren't willing to keep going like an idiot like the fucking old king did. Like, they, they cashed out. Yeah, they cashed out, which is what humanity is incapable of fucking doing. That totally makes sense, though. You can understand a game without knowing why you lost. Fucking so did someone said that this 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 anime didn't get a second season because it kept. Oh my god, they've got video games. Oh my fucking god. Of course they would lose. They understand it's a video game, but nobody else has video games.
Nobody here has video games, so they challenge you to a video game, and then when and then you, you even though you understand the game, you don't have practice with video games, so you can't fucking win. It's like having a. It's like fucking. It's like making fucking like I don't know a, a three year old play Fortnite against Ninja. The three year old wins because Ninja. Oh. Uh... Because you're fucking overpowered as shit. Because everybody in this world is an idiot. Joke's on you, cowards! Uh, man, they really need to get some e some lawyers isekai in here, man. These rules have really big loopholes. Holy shit! Could you imagine if a lawyer got isekai here? Like, like seriously, he would own this place because he just find loopholes in every single fucking rule. Which means you forfeit this tower. That's not good. <laughs> What happens? Which means people can just fucking murder you. Jesus fucking Christ! That's fucked, holy shit! I mean, there's no way he's gonna lose, but fucking Christ! I mean, I mean, like, he has to have a, a, a fucking plan for this, right? I mean... Joke's on you, he's incredibly depressed. This is just suicide by proxy. I mean, like, like, we established when they first showed up that they're, like, the best at video games, but do they, but they don't know what this video game is, like, how, like, I mean, they better be good at every fucking video game then, holy shit. I mean, we don't know what their pedigree is when it comes to fucking playing video games. Challenge the kid to a fucking video games. All right. You cannot defeat blank at the video games. I mean, with all the technology, I mean, I assumed it was going to be some sort of video related game, but like, so they're just going like, nah, it's video games. How the fuck did they have all this tech? If we lose, we all go extinct, so yeah, no. No harm, no foul. The risk of death only makes his dick harder. Steph, your world is literally based on games.
Everything is games. It's almost as if this world is incredibly fucked up. Uh <laughs> All right, what you got? So. Yeah, so you get all the race pieces and then you 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 get all the race pieces and then you challenge God, right? So I mean, you don't want to extinct all the races. Then you just want to take ownership of the fuckers. It's almost as if humanity are really fucking stupid. Send the guards. Have them stab the stab the citizens. They're also going to try and cheat super hard. Okay, why is the screen flashing like that? Are they... Okay, I, at first I thought that was an issue with the fucking file. Is someone using fucking the world over here right now? The fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? WHAT THE FUCK JUST HAPPENED?! That was like someone using the fucking world though. What the fuck just happened?! Oh, Jesus. I am so confused! What the fuck just happened?! Also, since when were they capable of being apart from each other? Also, he's missing from the ending here. He's missing from the ending. Okay, something's got- okay, what the fuck's happening? What the fuck is happening? Did he just step out of existence? What the fuck just happened? I got nothing for that. Like, he just activated his stand and just stepped out of the universe. Fuck. I don't... I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Oh, please tell me there's an after credit scene. Please, for the love of God. Okay, there is. Like, seriously, at the start, they weren't able to function if they weren't within the same fucking room as each other. Oh, good, she's still not able to function. He just stepped out of the universe.
What the fuck just happened? It just happened! Did the... Did someone use some magic or something? Like, did the Beastmen use magic? Like, they're wiping minds, right? So did they just... Did they just fucking mind wipe everyone? Like, what the fuck just happened? Like, the world started spazzing out. Like, Sora seemed to know what was going on. Did the Beast... So the Beast people can manipulate memories, but... He just phased, at, phased out of existence. Did fucking... Did he... Did someone just use the world over heaven? What the fuck? What the fuck? I have no idea. I don't even know where to begin parsing what the fuck just happened. I just... So, he seemed to know what was happening. And he just evaporated. The world was freaking... I... Someone's done something. Like... I mean, if they're able to... I mean, is it... Possible that Discboard is a is a video game? Like, is it? I mean, Tet contacted them through the internet, right? Through email. Is it possible that Discboard that Discboard is a simulation? Like, I know those of you that have been around a while, you know that when I start saying simulations, like you that you start having dang Rampa flashbacks. But is that what's going on here? Like, and that's why they've been able to, and that's why so much shit just doesn't make fucking sense. This whole place is a simulation, and they, they just rewrote the place to fucking knock him out? To try and... Is that how they're able to, like, wipe people's memories? Like... God damn it, I hate when shows do this. When the protagonist knows something that we don't. Ugh, oh, fuck, like... Something's happened, and he's been written out. And the fact that the world seemed to be glitching leads me to think that maybe that there is some sort of... There is some sort of simulation thing going on here. I don't know. I don't know, but fuck me, dude. Like, that, like, they got me interested again. Like, the world still makes no fucking sense. Characterization is all over the place, and there is fan service out the anus. But, <laughs> I just like saying anus that way. I just, I know it's dumb. I know it's dumb. I just think it's funny to say it that way. Um, like, there's fan service out the anus, but just... Like, sub things like that happen, and you're just in, and I'm like, yo! Yo, I'm down, let's see where these go! Like, just, oh, fuck, like, that, that, that's what I think the strength is of this show. Like, like right about the time where I'm just going, like, okay, this is getting dumb. Like, I'm really, really approaching the, the, the fucking threshold of Dunyan Rings right now. It just whips right on around, and it's like, nah, fucker, you thought you knew! Here you go! Like, just, oh, Christ, that's good. That's fucking good. I just... How will Shiro and Sora get out of this one? Can Sora defeat Dio over heaven? And get back to become a good father for Jolene? Find out next time on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Eyes of Heaven. Oh, fuck me, but... I do like the little visual gags as well. Like, the fact that they were essentially just yu gi oh it. Um, I am very confused as to how the Beastmen have video, like, have basically modern technology. That seems really, like, it's beyond the technological thing of how we're doing. But apparently humanity just sucks in this universe, so maybe every... Maybe the fucking Jibril have laser guns and spaceships and shit. How do I, like, fucking... What do I fucking know? But, yeah, I... There's not really a ton you can go from here, can you? Like, you just gotta just see what happens next time, but... I do really like this, like, where it's just, it's, you've got the twist, you've got fucking Sora being the smartest asshole in the room, and... It's clear that he has a plan, it's clear that he knows what's going on, it's just a matter of, like, us catching up to him, and... I really, I'm, usually I'm not a fan of this, but the fact that we've got Shiro around to, basically, be, be the, the... Audience insert in this situation... I like that, because she doesn't know everything. She knows basically what we know at this point. And there's just little bits left that she doesn't know. And I feel like her not knowing is how she avoided getting wiped out of the fucking universe. But, hey, there we go. But, fuck it. This is, I mean, this is a trope that's been done to death, but it's a trope that is very, very good. The whole idea of someone just fading out of existence and the whole idea being to get them back. 
uh, whether they exist physically or they've been turned into a ghost or moved to a different plane of existence, whatever, just good ass, good ass shit right there. But uh, let me know what you think down there in the comments. What you think is going to happen if you haven't seen it already. Whether you agree with me on stuff, whether you disagree with me on stuff. If you want to bring up something I admitted, because that's probably happened, let's be honest. Like I, like, like, I just got real hype at the end there, and I probably forgot something I was going to talk about. Yeah. Hey, everybody, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share on social media. Tell your friends! And, and uh, yeah, make sure you hit that share button, because, oh boy. Hit that share button, share on the Twitter or the Facebook or whatever, because, oh boy, YouTube, stop doing that for me. So that's like literally the only way to fucking get the word out, because they basically just n like neutered likes offside of YouTube. So still like, but also hit that share button if you don't mind. Yeah. Anyway, as always, I am Nozovix. Um, if you want to support me monetarily and keep the channel surviving and keep me eating food, then you can always support me on Patreon. Link down there in the description. They get you a special patrons-only Discord channel on the open Discord server, which is also linked down there. And, um, I guess, and on there, you can recommend things to be Let's Played, reacted to, live streamed, whatever! We also got our Patrons Only Movie Night that is happening at some point this month, probably, like, after the 20th. Like, maybe, like, the 21st, maybe? I don't know, like, I need to, still need to figure out what, what, what when, when I want to do that. Or, like, yeah, like, or, like, the 23rd or 24th, most likely. Oh, boy. Um, just because I have had a bunch of stuff happening, oh, boy. Uh, and, yeah. And that's always a lot of fun, just kind of hang out and do all that. But anyway, otherwise, I'll see you! in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I'll see you a round of